Hey families, this is CG, another episode of CG Vlogs. Good day to all of you who are viewing this. Today is Friday, July 2nd, 2021. I don't even know what time it is. The only thing I know right now is that it is nightfall in Barbados. Today we, in Barbados, experienced what was a tropical storm, tropical storm Elsa. It was later upgraded to a category one hurricane. It passed uh, southeast of the island. We did not experience a direct hit based on the reports I have gathered from the meteorological office, but we did experience significant amounts of rainfall, significant amounts of high winds, and it is my understanding that there has been some damage across the island and that would have been perhaps expected to some extent. Uh, where I am, I am quite safe. I am in the southeastern part of the island right now. Um, I'm in shelter and uh, the day started out quite fine actually. In other words, I had all my electricity, I had water, but then shortly as the morning evolved, the electrical supply went and uh, water service went. So where I am, we have been without electricity from around 7 a.m. this morning, July 2nd, Friday. Later on in the evening, the water service was restored and I was able to benefit from that restoration. So I feel really good. I had a bath, but as you can see, I'm in darkness to some extent. I have one spotlight positioned towards me so you can see a little bit of what I look like. Well, this is me just taking this opportunity to share a bit of my experience. I'm thankful that Barbadians were spared a direct hit from this tropical storm event. Nevertheless, it provided an opportunity for us in Barbados to test our systems and our protocols in circumstances such as these, whereby we experience a hurricane, a tropical a storm, maybe a tropical depression, a tropical wave. I think this event provided an opportunity for us as individuals, for us as families, for us as households, for us as a country to get a sense of how our systems are working uh, when put to the test. And Tropical Storm Elsa really provided us with that opportunity to test our systems. Well, we didn't have a direct hit, but we sustained some damage based on the preliminary reports that I've received. I have been to some extent shut off from the mainstream. My communication services went. It is, I am sure right now as I'm making this vlog, it must be after 9 p.m. Friday, July 2nd, 2021. I'm estimating around 9 p.m. The last time I checked the time, it was 7.30. And I am sure some time has elapsed since then. So I'm estimating it's around 9 p.m. in Barbados Eastern, the time that I'm creating this vlog. And I must say it was an eventful day. As I looked outside during the passage of the storm, the wind was extremely high. There was intense rainfall. I can see the leaves of the trees and the plants just aggressively fluttering in the wind, swaying side to side. It was an experience. I am safe where I am in my immediate building. There has been no damage that I have observed. The only disadvantage I experienced was the electrical supply outage as well as my water service outage. But I'm confident that within the next few hours, certainly sometime tomorrow, I'm hopeful that the authorities and the repair crew 
will be on the outside trying to correct this problem this problem yeah but I got asked the question though I really got asked the question is am I are we truly prepared for a natural disaster such as a tropical storm or a hurricane I've been thinking about that today there's always opportunity for improvement and I think personally I saw some areas well this also provided me an opportunity to test my own personal resources and uh, test my system of preparation and I saw some opportunities where I can improve going forward for example uh, my backup power storage device went boom it did not work the way I expected it to work on the conditions such as these when the electrical power outage goes so my battery for my cell phone eventually dies so I was unable to use my cell phone the landline when the power outage occurred that immediately went because telephone services are dependent on electrical supply so when the power within the community went the telephone service also went so I was without the use of my mobile phone I was without the use of my landline and therefore I was unable to connect to the outer world via the internet because my internet communications went down also um, so I have to be updated on a lot of things at the time of this vlog I'm lost track about I've lost track of what has been happening since the power went since my cell phone went down so I am eagerly awaiting some sort of update and I guess I'll have to wait until morning period when I can actually get out of my community to kind of get a sense of how my family is doing and how my friends are doing and how those around me within my community are are doing but based on what I see when I walk around my immediate yard, the curtilage of my property, I don't see any immediate damage within my area. But I'm sure when I venture out tomorrow, I'm going to observe much more. So just taking this opportunity to really share a bit of my experience, I must say, even though the power went and the water service went for some period of time today, I value the experience of this storm. It was not a direct hit on the island, but it provided an opportunity to observe systems and test systems in an effort to prepare me for what could perhaps be a larger event, a more destructive event, in the weeks ahead or perhaps in the years ahead so upon reflection I can say that I really enjoyed it for what it is it was a nice windy rainy day it was certainly nice and cool I slept I slept for a portion of the day and I I am well rested so I'm gonna pause it here this is CG I am sharing this vlog with you at this time. It must be around 10 o'clock right now. I am in the southeastern section of the island of Barbados, which experienced the passage of a tropical storm named Elsa. It was not a direct hit on the island. It passed south of Barbados, the eye of the storm, which was later upgraded to a category one hurricane passed south of Barbados so we did not experience the full brunt of what could have been a more destructive event so look out for my next vlog on my experience 
during the aftermath of Tropical Storm Elsa. I'm CG and this is CG Vlogs. Yeah.